another week, another Sabbath day singing time. We are going to start with one of the songs that I normally sing at the end of our singing time. Remember how every week I try to sing um, Kindness Begins With Me or Jesus Said Love Everyone? We're going to start today with Jesus Said Love Everyone. about someone who treated Joseph kindly during a time when there weren't very many people treating him kindly. The man's name is Martin Harris. And last week you might have learned about him with your families. And he, it says, we found a friend. We found a friend in a man named Martin Harris. So Joseph, all he had all this persecution, all these people talking negatively about him professing to have seen a vision and the different things that he was trying to accomplish. And Martin Harris became their friend and helped actually pay for them to move closer to Emma's family when she was pregnant. So now I'm going to tell you a little story about Martin Harris. So he's a friend, right? Okay. And he wants to take some of the, the writings, the translations, he wants to take them with him to show his family. His wife is like, Martin, you've been spending all of our money, all of your time, everything with Joseph being his scribe. How do I know what you're doing is true? I need proof. You need to come show me. So Martin says, Joseph, can I please take what you've already translated? He had 116 pages. He said, please, can I take these to show my wife? Of course, Joseph wanted to let him. He's his friend, right? He's one of the only people that has supported him at this time. He had already taken a couple of characters to a learned man, and that was part of the lesson last week. So if you didn't talk about that with your families, have your families tell you what happened when he took those few characters to this professor at the university. Okay, so he says, Joseph, can I take these 116 pages to show my wife? She really, really wants to believe that what I'm doing is good. I need to show her. So he prays to the Lord. The Lord says, no. Can I see this? Green means go. Nope. Red means stop. Green means go. Yellow means wait, even if you're late. That's a rhyme I used to say when I was little. So the Lord says, no. You, you can't have the 116 pages. You can't give it to him. That's not a good idea. Um, he tells Martin. The Lord said no. Martin again comes to him and says, Joseph, you don't understand. I'm, I'm excited about this work, you know, he, and he, he just wants to take him to his wife just to show her. Why can't I show her? Can you ask the Lord again? So Joseph says, okay, I'll ask him again. So he asks the Lord again. The answer is stop. No. So a third time, three times, Martin Harris says, Joseph, please, please ask the Lord again. I need to show this to my family. Joseph goes to the Lord again and asks, guess what the Lord says? Yes. Okay. Okay. If he wants to take the 116 pages, he can take them. But these are the people he can show them to. He was very specific. His wife and there was a couple family members. So he signs a document with Joseph. Thank you. I promise. And he leaves. Well, around the same time, Emma has her baby. And really sad, the baby doesn't survive. And it makes Emma so sad. For a couple weeks, she thinks that they think that she won't survive either. So Joseph, Martin's gone, he has 116 pages. Emma just had her baby. They just lost the baby. Joseph is nervous that he's about to lose his wife. It's a very, very sad time in his life. Emma starts to feel better. And she says, Joseph, go find out what happened. So Joseph travels all the way back to where his parents live, back to near Martin Harris, and they invite him over. He comes and they see him walking down the street with his head down and he gets up on the fence and he puts his hat down over his eyes. Finally, he wanders in 
and he sits down like he's about to eat, and then he sets his utensils down, and he says, I've lost my soul. Joseph jumps up from the table and says, Martin, have you lost the pages? Yeah, Martin lost the pages, the 116 pages. And he said, it's no use. I looked everywhere. I opened up pillows and I looked under the bed and I looked everywhere. They're gone. How do you think Joseph felt? Probably pretty sad, right? Section three of the Doctrine and Covenants. This is actually the first revelation that the Lord gave to, to Joseph. Number section one, remember, was the preface. And section two was part of the words of what Moroni spoke to Joseph in his, in his vision when he came to visit him. But section three was actually the very first revelation given to Joseph. And it's about the lost 116 pages. He says, you should have kept my commandments. You should have listened to me the first time, basically. So I'm going to read to you these two verses. It says, Behold, you have been entrusted with these things, but how strict were your commandments. And remember also the promises which we made to you, if you did not transgress them. And behold, how oft you have transgressed the commandments and laws of God, and have gone on in the persuasions of men. So he said you broke them. But let me hurry and give you a little happy scripture about the commandments. The very last verse of all of the chapters that we read this week says, And if thou art faithful in keeping my commandments, thou shalt be lifted up at the last day. That's an exciting promise, right? So we're going to sing, keep the commandments. Look at this. It's like another stoplight. I made this a long time ago. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. In this there is safety. In this there is peace. He will send blessings. He will send blessings. Words of the prophet. Keep the commandments. In this there is safety and peace. Let's sing it. is so great after he says Joseph you messed up in section three then he says but he says behold thou art Joseph and thou was chosen to do the work of the Lord and remember that God is merciful he is he's so merciful he extends grace to us so we can repent when we make a mistake and do better the next time right God is merciful therefore repent of that which of that which thou hast done, which is contrary to the commandment which I gave you, and thou art still chosen, and art again called to do the work. So Jesus is merciful, right? So we are going to sing, I feel my Savior's love. Just the first verse, okay? for Joseph to feel the Savior's love even after he told him you did this wrong but then immediately 
to feel the love of the Savior, the mercy, knowing that he could repent and do better. Okay, we're going to move on to the next chapter. Ready? Chapter four, section four. This is Doctrine and Covenants. It's not chapters, it's sections. Section four was actually a revelation given through the prophet Joseph Smith to Joseph Smith Sr. So to Joseph Smith's dad, he had a couple of dreams and he came to Joseph and said, I'm missing something. There's something missing in my life. What is it? And Joseph gave him this beautiful chapter. A lot of missionaries like to use this chapter because it talks about serving others, doing what Christ would do and helping other people that are around us. Behold, the field is white and ready to harvest. Uh, all of you that all ye that embark in the service of God, that you serve him with all your heart, might, mind, and strength. All of these verses that we've heard before. And I love this. So there's two verses that gives a whole bunch of attributes, things that we can do to be more effective in our service. It says, and faith, hope, charity, and love with an eye single to the glory of God, qualify him for the work. Remember faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, brotherly kindness, godliness, charity, humility, and diligence. Don't you think the world needs a little bit more of those things? I think so. And it starts with us. We can look at that list of attributes and maybe you can with your family this week, pick one, pick one attribute that you think you could work on and do a little bit better about when you're serving other people. We are going to sing. I'm trying to be like Jesus because this list of attributes sounds exactly like Jesus Christ. These are all the attributes that he possesses, not all of them, but a lot of the attributes that he possesses. So we're going to sing. I'm trying to be like Jesus. We're going to do both verses. service. It talks about kindness, just like in those verses, brotherly kindness. So that is something, right? Go, go and do that. Go and serve. So the first chapter we talked about, no, don't take the, don't take the records. And they did and they got lost. Then he says, okay, go, go and do, go embark in the service of the Lord. Do what you can to help those around you. 
Okay, so we're going to move on to chapter five. In chapter five, he talks about, um, he's, he's talking again kind of about Martin Harris. Martin Harris wants to be a witness. So he comes back. This is almost a year later, this verse compared, or this chap section compared to section three. And he wants to be a witness for the Book of Mormon. Martin Harris still believes the things that were, that were said, that were done. He was very sad about what happened and repented and, is, and continues to repent for the things that he did. And he's saying, I want to be a witness for the scriptures. Can I please do that? So it's talking about the scriptures. And right here it says, but this generation shall have my word through you. So this is them talking to Joseph right now. Joseph, this generation will have my word through you. They have the chance to translate. And in a little bit, we'll talk about Martin being a witness um, or how he is going to get the opportunity to be a witness. So we're going to sing the iron rod because we were able to have his word through Joseph Smith. So we're going to talk about the word. The iron rod is the word of God. So remember, it has a couple tricky words in there that we kind of had to learn. So seer to Nephi, seer of olden time. A vision came from God, where in the holy word sublime was shown an iron rod. actually received um, the revelation in section four and five. Moroni actually took the plates from Joseph. He came and said, stop. Right now we're going to stop. You lost the 116 pages. We're going to stop and we're going to wait. We're going to wait for a little bit. Okay. We need, there's going to be a season of time that you don't have the plates or the Urim and Thummim and you're not going to be able to translate. So he's waiting. He did eventually get them back. He actually got the Urim and Thummim back to give, uh, to do section three. And then after he got the plates and Urim and Thummim back, he was able to uh, give the revelation for section four and section five the next spring. Um, I think it's so great. You know what? Sometimes we have to stop. Sometimes we have to wait. And sometimes we have to go. We have to get up and do it, right? And all of those things, we can learn something in each of these times in our lives. So the last song we're going to sing today is, like I said, Martin Harris would like to be a witness. And in DNC section 5, verse 15, it says, The testimony of three witnesses will I send forth of my word. So he says, yeah. And he even says, And now I speak unto you, my servant Joseph, concerning the man that desires the witness. Isn't that beautiful? The witness. Do we have a song that has the word witness in it? We do. The witness of the Holy Ghost as born by those who know. Isn't that amazing? So Martin Harris eventually will get to be one of the three witnesses. And we will talk about that in a future lesson. But I love it because then we have this beautiful document at the beginning of our scriptures that's called the testimony of the three witnesses. And it's, it's those that got to see. They got to witness of the Book of Mormon, and they got to bear the testimony. So we are going to sing testimony, all three verses, okay?
want to read one more scripture to you. Remember, there are different times, different seasons in our lives where sometimes we need to go, sometimes we need to wait, and sometimes we need to stop. And we need to listen to the Spirit to know when those times are. Okay, this is the very end of chapter 5. It says, Yea, for this cause I have said, Stop and stand still until I command thee and I will provide means whereby thou mayest accomplish the thing which I have commanded thee. And I'll read this last verse again that went with the commandments. And if thou art faithful in keeping my commandments, thou shalt be lifted up at the last day. Amen. Thank you for joining me this week. I cannot wait to learn more in the Doctrine and Covenants with you next week.